hey, I'm just here to see the show. Um, unfortunately, I do not have enough time allotted to myself to watch the entire trial, so I'm trying to find little snippets of the juiciest shit, man. So I found one that says, Amber Heard recalls the first time Johnny Depp allegedly hit her. Johnny Depp has never put his hands on that woman. Not to be considered no damn domestic violence, no assault. But we know this. So I'm just here to see how crazy this is and for all men to take all this in and see the signs, know the signs, learn the signs of crazy ass behavior so y'all can all avoid bitches like this. All right, let's do it. And there would be a blow up. And at first it was just to throw something, smash some things. Um, it loves to smash up a place, an apartment, furniture. That's what it started with, um, glass. Threw a glass at me and I started to notice the pattern of escalation where he'd throw glass or turn over a table. Then he would hit the wall and then he'd hit the wall really close to my head. You know, like when I'm standing there, you know, just hit the wall screaming at me. Um, but then he would um, disappear and get clean and sober and he'd come back and tell me that he, had, he was done drinking, he was over it, he was done, cleaned himself up, he had done it before and he'd do it again. And then he would go back to this like wonderful, like almost like just unreal, like but real, you know, but un, unbelievably nice, sensitive, kind, warm, generous, interesting, funny man that I loved. And he would make me feel so loved. Like it would get, I would feel so distant from that thing that was so scary that I would not even recognize the two. And that was how, you know, our relationship kind of started to develop in that first year. Do you remember the first time that he physically hit you? Yes. Please tell the jury about it. <laughs> it was so, it's seemingly so stupid, so in, like insignificant. I will never forget it. It changed, it changed my life. I was sitting on the couch. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be biased, bro, but I'm definitely biased, man. Fuck this bitch, bro. Fuck this bitch, man. Like, she, she's a fucking actress, bro. Like, all the build-up trying to make it seem so devastating and, like, her life is just flipped upside down, bro. She's evil. She's pure evil. It's a fucking actress right there. We know she's a fucking sociopath, psychopath. She got all these fucking issues that the psych psychologist already diagnosed her with, man. Y'all better not be believing nothing this bitch say, bruh. Man, <laughs> man, she, she, man. Bruh, the audacity of this bitch to come up here acting, thinking that everybody's stupid. She thinks she's smarter than everybody. She thinks she's smarter than everybody, man. Fuck this hoe. It changed my life. It changed my I life. I was Shut sitting up. on the couch. Shut up. Shut and up. we were talking, we were having a, like a normal conversation, you know, just normal to there you was no probably. fighting, no <laughs> argument, nothing. And, um, he was drinking and, um, I didn't realize at the time, but Bro, they playing him being a, a, a addict or alcoholic or whatever you want to call it. They playing that shit out. So they're trying to just demonize this man for his drinking issues and drug issues, bro, whatever. Whatever the fuck ever. They ain't got nothing to do with this domestic violence and and uh, assault shit you talking about, bro. Uh, I didn't expect to get irritated while she, I just wanted to watch the show, but I can't help it. Look at her face. Look at her face, man, bro. And Johnny Depp had to deal with that shit, bro. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think he was using cocaine because it was like there was a jar. A jar. Of cocaine, cocaine is alcohol, alcohol that table. we I did. I realize that sounds weird, but it was like oh, an actual vintage jar of it. But I didn't see him use it at the time, so I, I didn't really factor that in. I just, you know, he's drinking and we're talking and it's there's music playing and he's smoking cigarettes. She's setting it up, ain't we're she? We're sitting next to each other on the couch. And I ask him about the tattoo he has on his arm. And to me, it just looked like um, black marks. It, like, I didn't know, I didn't know what it said. It just looked like muddled, faded tattoo that was hard to read. And I said, what, is it, what does it say? And he um, said, it says, why no, 
It says, why no? And I, um, I didn't see that. I thought he was joking uh, because it didn't look like it said that at all. And I laughed. It was that simple. Um, I, I just laughed because I thought he was joking and slapped me across the face. And I laughed. I laughed because I, I didn't know what else to do. I thought, this must be a joke. He said, you think it's so funny. You think it's funny. You think you're a funny. And he slapped me again. Bruh, she remembering, hey, this is, so this is the first time he laid his hands on her. So this is years and years and years ago when she remembers these specific ass details. I saw his tattoo, didn't know what the tattoo said. He said, why no? And like the build up, it was just, it seemed so, man. Bruh. But, <laughs> bruh. You think it's funny. You think you're a funny. Shut up. He slapped me again. Shut up. Like, it was clear. It wasn't a joke anymore, but I don't know what else to say or do, so I just stared at him. I didn't say anything, I didn't react, I didn't move or freak out or defend myself or, or say, what are you doing? You're crazy. I just stared at him because I didn't know what else to do. And he slaps me one more time. Hard. I lose my balance, all of a sudden, Realizing that the worst thing has just happened to me that could possibly happen to you. I realized that I, I wish so much he had said he was joking. You know, she might have, it would have, it would have, it would have sounded so much better if she was just like talking normal and left out the fucking theatrics and the drama. You know what I mean? Trying to like do it. She's up here acting. We've heard the telephone calls and how she always portrays herself as an innocent motherfucker and she does no harm and she just gets mad at the fact that Johnny Depp won't even include himself in these conversations and shit. So, like, what we hear her say and what they've shown us evidence wise. They, they they contradict each other. There's no way some shit like that happened based on all the fucking evidence stacked up against her ass. She's the one that blows up, fucking takes shit to the extreme, screaming, hitting, and making it seem like she... Bro, come on, man. Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp went here and slapped your ass three times in a row because of some tattoo shit. And she, she just find herself living back in the moment of the first time he slapped her and she trying to show all this emotion and shit like she been fucking devastated and it's the worst thing that ever fucking happened to her in her life. But then she claimed to be a victim of domestic violence before Johnny Depp. So why is this the all of a sudden the worst thing that ever happened? I said, I... I wish so much he had said he was joking. so much he Because it didn't hurt. It didn't physically hurt me. I was just sitting there on this, on, on this carpet, looking at the dirty carpet, wondering how I wound up on this carpet and why I was never, why I never noticed that the carpet was so filthy before. I just sat there thinking how much time. She sat here and rehearsed this shit. She, she rehearsed this, bro. She rehearsed it. She sat her fucking little stank ass in front of the damn man, rehearsed all this shit she talking about, trying to do all this shit she doing, bro. She up there trying to act out the best role she's ever had to do throughout her entire career. Bitch. Do I have to I figure out what I need to do because, God, did he just hit me? No, I didn't want to leave him. I didn't want this to be the reality. I didn't want to have the man I was in love with. I know you don't come back from that. You know, I'm not... Dom, I, I know you can't hit a woman. I, you, you can't hit a man. You can't hit anyone. And I wish I could sit here and say I stood up and I walked out of that house and I drew a line and I stood up for myself. Before I know it, he starts crying. And, you know, like, I, I had never seen an adult man cry. And he's crying. Uh, tears, I mean, just falling out of his eyes. He gets down on his knees and he grabs my hands and he's 
touching my hands and he's saying to me, I will never do that again. I'm so sorry, baby. I, I put the f***er away. I thought I killed it and it's, it's done. I, 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 I thought I put the monster away and I've done it before. It's done. I didn't say anything. I made a point to not say, oh, it's okay or anything like that. I just didn't say anything. I got up. I went to the car. I sat in my car. Right, I'm sick of this hoe. I'm sick of this hoe. I want to see what the comments say, though. That's what I want to see. Hold on. She's literally doing what Johnny brought her to court for. She's defaming him in real time. She's ridiculous. Come on, Amber. Give us some tears. The performance isn't complete without the real tears. As a DV victim who has survived attempted murder for, for my ex-partner, this is so hurtful. She's making an absolute mockery out of people like me who actually did experience DV. She's literally killing me. She's a soap opera actress at best. She likes poetry and books. Poetry and books. She wrote a fictitious... She wrote a fictional novel while Johnny was testifying. She rehearsed facts. She says, you can't hit a man. You can't hit a woman yet. You can't hit anyone. While there's literally evidence of her stating she hit Johnny. Unreal. Yeah, this bitch out. She lost. She out of her fucking mind. She's out of her fucking mind. Man, I mean, bruh. If there was, if there was ever a real time for fucking riot after a damn case. If, uh, if Johnny don't fucking... If you don't win this shit, bro, if you don't win this shit and they expose the hell out this bitch and if she don't get what she deserve and they somehow flip this on Johnny making it making it seem like he's the motherfucking aggressor in this shit, like he's not the victim, trying to make it seem like she's a victim and he's not, bro, bro, hey, man, hey, man, for real, this is bullshit, dog. It's, I mean, it better not, it better not happen, but it, I... <laughs> But I low key think it's gonna happen any fucking way, cause they don't want they don't want Depp to win, man. But this bitch is crazy. This is bitch, that was so goddamn cringy, bro. So fucking cringy, man. <laughs> that was cringy as shit. It is like hours and hours and hours of that, bro. I don't know if I'm gonna dive back into that shit, man. Fuck this hoe. <laughs> Fuck this hoe, bro.